Greetings! Welcome to Flavorful Eats. I am your host, Hamsha Naidu. Joining me today is Sri Lakshmi Srinivasan. Thank you very much for joining, joining me today. Thank you. We are preparing a typical South Indian breakfast, brunch, or you can eat it any time of the day, but typically in South India, it's eaten in the morning. We're starting off with idlis. Yeah, or a batter, a batter that you could make various things. Yeah, actually uh, we make idli with a batter and uh, with the same batter we can make also dosa and utapam. Uta mm -hmm. So I'd like to first show you how this batter is made. We use rice, urad dal and fenugreek. These are the three main ingredients to make idli. Um, the rice we use is a boiled rice. It's called pony boiled rice or also para boiled rice. I like to use the boiled rice because um, it is more enhanced in its nutrition by um, the process of partially being boiled already before it is into the market. So it is like 80% nutritionally equivalent to a brown rice. So that makes it very uh, nutritious. And then the urad dal that we use. It also comes like this. It used to initially come with the skin. This is the whole urad with the skin. And they used to soak it and take off the skin and then use it for the idli because you want the idlis to be white. But now you get all removed skin or you can also get urad dal as a split urad dal, which are all the same. So we like to use the white urad dal. You can either use the gota or the, uh, the half split one. And then the fenugreek. Talking about the fenugreek, it has a lot of medicinal value to it. Um, it is used to lower cholesterol. It controls your blood sugar levels and uh, it also helps in losing weight and it has a lot of other... Uh, so, but today we're actually doing a semi-homemade uh, thing where we have batter already ready. Yeah. So, then we're going to go into the process to show exactly how it's made and we'll talk about the nutrition as we're cooking the dosa. Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. So, so, usually for making the batter, we use four cups of rice and uh, one cup of, uh, we can use any uh, cup, but it's just the ratio. It's four is to one we use, and then we try to use a teaspoon of fenugreek. We soak the urad and the fenugreek together, and then the rice separately, and then we use this grinder to grind it. We usually first separately grind the urad into a nice thick paste. We, after soak, it, we soak it for a few hours. Right? Yeah, we soak, soak it for a minimum of three hours. Three hours. You can soak, soak it for a little more if you want. And you soak the uh, rice the same way. Yeah. And As we separately, separately. Yeah, we grind it separately. We first uh, grind mm -hmm. the urad and you can soak the fenugreek with the urad and right. we're going to grind it. Um, separately mm -hmm. and take it off in a container. So for those who don't have this very fancy machine here, which is called an ultra grind, you can always just use a, a regular, regular uh, mixer, mixer um, or a Vitamix or a blender. Vitamix is now like the thing to use because it's so super fast. And yeah, so, uh, sure. So but so uh, I would really recommend this mm -hmm. stone grinder because it really grinds it between the stones that right. makes it really So you want to give pasty. a quick yeah, like I'm just going to run it for a minute and see how the stone. First, you need to put water, right? You need to put yeah, water. Yeah, I'm just going to add a little bit water so that we are not letting the stones run by itself dry. and not supposed to run dry. grind it. So, so you see the way. It. So that's it. That's how it's supposed to. Yeah, it's too loud, that, so I'm not going to run. In that way, you put the the urad first. So you put yeah, the rice we you put the urad and the fenugreek that's right. soaked. You first grind it, mm -hmm. like 10 or 15 minutes, you get a really thick paste. You take that off and then start grinding the rice. And then we mix both together with salt. Right. So and today we got that elaborate thing because we're using a semi-homemade thing, which is, you know, very good. So we'll now get on to our next uh, one after we sure. finish mix it. And now we fermented it. Yeah. And we got a little... I'm uh, very happy to show you that uh, and all this process is ready. already done and it's available ready in the market. You can get this uh, in Waltham India Market in Waltham and there's a branch right now in Shrewsbury so we get, too. We can get started yeah. with this uh, as we go. So sure. now we're going to be frying, uh, from, from that we're going to be getting to our chutney. But there's the main thing is that after you grind both, you mix it with salt and you got to ferment it in a very warm place right. for 12 hours. Mm -hmm. But this is all prepared. It's 
all just ready to go. So we're going to use this. So this particular brand is actually very, very good because it works very well and, and the, it goes to a very good cause, the sale of the, the ingredients. So we get started with the frying of the uh, peanuts. Yeah, we are going to make a peanut chutney today for a side dish for our idli do and dosas and uh, we are going to make sambar too. So let me start uh, putting things into the sambar. Let me tell you what we are going to use for sambar. So and get the chutney and sambar ready. Yep. So for the sambar, so we use. Um, yeah, can leave it here. Urda. No, it's a tuarda. 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 This is how uh, it's a pigeon. Pigeon peas in it. It's a pigeon peas, and this is the whole form of it. But we use the half broken ones. So I'm going to use one cup of tuar dal. I'm just going to add it to this bowl here, and add a little bit of. So we use this split tuar dal today. Split tuar dal, and I'm going to put little bit turmeric. Of turmeric, and, and then I'm going to put all of these tomatoes. So you put chopped tomatoes and chopped uh, onions. onions. Yeah, too. I'm using one cup of uh, tomatoes, and then. So how much of uh, tuar dal do you use? Two or dal is one cup. One, one cup, one yeah. cup, one, all one cup. Yeah, I like to keep, uh, save like half the onions for tadka. So I'm not going to use all seasoning. of the onions. Yeah. For seasoning later. And uh, so you put some water in the pot. I already spoke to you about the fenugreek. Yeah, fenugreek and its importance. So it's uh, really good for your health. I like to add a little pinch, pinch of again. fenugreek. And then just we'll pour some water. Thing like that. So you and put then uh, about uh, one and a half cups of water. Water, yeah. You and you should put some water. Plenty of water, actually. That's good. And you need to put some water at the bottom of your pan. Yeah, we need and to. And then you place this inside. How much of water do you put? Like two inches. We can put like half a cup of water. Half Make sure that we have inside. enough water inside the cooker. Uh -huh. And then we are going to just close it and. So we we shut it. Yeah, we are going to shut it and I'm put the weight. And we are going to make the. You gotta make sure that the dal is well cooked in a pressure cooker, or even an electric uh, cooker should be fine. And so now, now we, we are gonna start the, to move uh, with the peanut chutney. chutney. We'll so for the ingredients for the peanut chutney, yeah, the ingredients for the peanut chutney is peanut, and then uh, dalia. It's roasted chana dal. It's called dalia, and then we are going to use uh, sesame seeds. And then um, half an inch or one inch of ginger with some curry leaves. And you can either use red or green chilies. Uh, today I'm going to mix both red and the green. So we are just going to use one of each. How that much spicy today, you want it, it depends on that. The reason you're doing the two colors is to bring a little bit more color into your, into your dish for today. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The more, um, each color has a different nutrition, I would say. Let's start off with just putting a teaspoon of oil into it. A teaspoon of oil. Or maybe two. And let's start off with the peanut first. So we uh, slightly fry this peanut. Yep. Peanut wants to go all over the place today. Just one minute with that and then slowly add one by one. Can we reduce the flame please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Green, uh, the chilies. That is quick. Yeah. yeah very quick. Yeah. And that's the uh, curry, leaves. curry leaves. And then you put your dahlia, right? Um, that's, um, um, I like to add the sesame and then the last one would be dahlia. So how much of sesame it? seeds? Um, sesame is half the quantity of like one tablespoon, okay. one to one and a half tablespoon. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, and dahlia. The last one is the roasted chana dal. Uh, yeah. Roasted uh, split chickpeas. Yes. So that's all done. Our it our um, tur dal is ready. It's ready for our uh, smashing. And now uh, Sri Lakshmi will make it idlis with the Sri foods. Yeah, when I'm mixing this, maybe you can just hand blend yes. that for me, Hamsha. Thank mm -hmm. you. So this batter is all ready and it's fermented and all we need to do is just mix it up. For idli, as it says, you just need to add just one uh, 
tablespoon of water. I like to make it like, yeah, that's good. That's a little bit more than a tablespoon, but that's all right. Yeah. So as long as it's like the consistency. Consistency, right? yeah. And you give it a good mix. Good mix. And that's ready to go on the plates. And we have greased the plates already. The idli plates need to be greased, and that's yeah, about so the that only it's oil easy. we have. It. So, that's so that it's easy for us to, mm -hmm. when the idlis come out, it comes out nice. And uh, for a variation, Excuse I me. like to add some carrots. So I like to add the chopped, finely chopped carrots. Are, it's okay if you can grate the carrots in a cheese grater, which really grates it very tiny and small small so it's nice and meanwhile we have also started heating up the the water water in a pot, water in the pot because we're going to steam these idlis and Amsha can you please hand blend the dal for me yes I will blend the dal thank you so I'm going to put two plates of white idli and then we're going to see how the adding those carrots to the batter and putting them really adds up the nutritional value and it gives color to the idli So now, so now I'm now going to add the carrots and mix it up. You can as, add as much as you want. My kids love idli. They are really soft and easily digestible and it's all so added anybody up with could actually the eat nutrition. Idlis. Yep. Because it's either babies, it uh, well, can digest very well because of the fermentation process. The older folks, people that have issues with health, the fermentation helps it so much more with everything. It uh, helps the digestion. Right. Yeah, the fermentation helps the, the digestion. So the carrots just make, give up so much of a nice color there and adds to the health value of that too. Yeah, and idlis are like uh, bread for... Indians, so it's very easy any time of the day when you have the batter ready all you need to is just put them in these plates or even a big plate is fine you can just put them in a big plate and steam them and then take them off and cut them and eat them. We like the shape of small two to three inches of a diameter at least I guess it's easier I think we don't have a this should do. Yeah. So we, after it's done, we put it into the pot and we leave it to steam for about 10, 10 to minutes, 15 10 minutes. To 15 minutes. And okay. when, the, when it's done, it's done. So let's, sh now let me, sh let's show you how to, can we move this over? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then with the same batter, you're going to be making some um, sambar. Now we are going okay. moving to sambar. The main ingredients for sambar, we already um, have already cooked the dal and it's all smashed and ready. So, and then we are going to um, season it. We are going to use mustard seeds, cumin seeds, and then um, onions. And we need tamarind paste or we can use tamarind. So I've soaked the tamarind and taken an extract of it, one cup of it, we can use that. And then we are going to season it on the top with curry leaves coriander and this is the drumstick because I'm doing drumstick sambar. I've taken frozen drumsticks and um, I've uh, microwaved, it, microwaved it with little water for six minutes so it's kind of semi-cooked and now when we are boiling it in the pot anyway it's going to get cooked the remaining. So let's start uh, seasoning the sambar. We on the stove add two teaspoon of oil Start off with the mustard seeds. Can we increase the flame? It's on high. Yeah, I want it to get high. And then add the cumin seeds. 
when the uh, oil is nice and hot, you normally would add all of that. Yeah, can we have a the label to mix it up? You have to see the mustard seeds starting to pop out. That's when you the oil is ready to go. I guess it is fast, starting to pop. Yeah. And then we add the curry leaves. You hear that? Flatter. Then the onions. Mix it for a minute. And then I like to add the drumsticks. So sambar is nothing but an Indian, South Indian stew. It's chewing all the different things with some, uh, and our dal being the protein to the whole thing. Exactly. So this is the tamarind water. That little piece of tamarind, she soaked it in uh, hot water and brought it into a pulp and strained it and this is what we have. Yeah, or you can just use, you get ready made tamarind uh, paste in a bottle. You can just use one teaspoon yes. of tamarind paste. I'm going to increase the flame again. Now we have water, so we are good. So um, after we this can, cooks a little bit, then yeah, you add... Um, we're just going to leave it for like a couple of seconds. And when it starts boiling, I'm going to add the Which is done already. It's boiling. Yeah. You see it boiling. And so now we're going to add the water. Little water and then all this dal. So we finish at the turmeric and the onion and the um, onion to tomatoes and tamarind. The, yeah, mm. we added all the tadka and all then the, the onions and then the tamarind paste mm -hmm. and, and then uh, salt to taste. Now we are going to add the sambar powder and salt. Yeah. Right, sambar powder is uh, can be bought ready as well. Today is sort of a semi homemade. Most uh, I I cooks at home make their yeah. spices from scratch. Exactly. We have a lot of sambar powders right now in the market available in like MTR mm -hmm. and Shaw's and whatever. <laughs> so we just can add one tablespoon of sambar powder and when this starts boiling we can uh, salt. Salt, yes. We need to add salt. Yeah. We can just add a little bit of so. We are adding freshly ground salt, I guess, today. Yeah. <laughs> salt is salt surely, uh, yeah, sure. Salt surely enhances the taste and taste flavor. Yeah, yeah. For sure. We want to make sure that we have enough water and let everything boil and cook. And when it starts nicely boiling, we are going to add finally the cilantro. Cilantro. That is and right now we are going to just close it and let it leave boil. it to cook on its own. Yeah. So from here we go to make our. We are going to make uh, uthapam and um, dosa and uh, get the chutney is, ready. Uh, quite equivalent to a savory pancake because it's a little bit yeah. thick, whereas the dosa is more like a crepe, crepe because it's thin. Yeah. So they all are savory, or but this is gluten free. It's made with the rice and lentils, so it's all uh, good to go. As we know, we finished fry all the ingredients for the peanut chutney. So Sri Lakshmi is now going to round it up by just adding a little bit of water. It's cooled yeah. and we put it's it into the It's cooled down and now we have put it into the, transferred into the mixy. I would like to run it once without the water so that it kind of uh, blends the things together. And then we're going to add a little water. About half a cup of water, right? Maybe half One. a cup, yeah. Not too runny, so just half a cup of water and uh, grind it like for two seconds. Okay. Well, so now the idli is all steaming hot and ready. So it's and all it's, ready to serve. It's ready to serve, but we like to cool it down before we take it off the plates. So I'm so just going to lift careful it up. Careful when you're lifting it up. It normally has a little knob on the top which is missing today. So that's and the idli is ready. And I moved it out of the heat. And and let it uh, cool down for 10 seconds. The sambar has nicely cooked and, and boiled. boiled. So right now we would like to add the coriander leaves to it and keep it closed and close it back. The sambar is ready. The sambar is ready and from the sambar. And let's, uh, now we have idlis, we have sambar, we have chutney and now let's move to the dosa and uttapam. We are going to again use this 3-in-1 batter 
for dosa and uttapam the consistency is almost the same it is going to be little more thinner than how it was for the idli you are always welcome to use it as it is if you would like but uh, for dosa surely I would like to add little water so like two tablespoons dosa is a crepe basically it is just a thin crepe so let us south Indian crepe which is savory yeah actually I would like to add a little more water you can just add it to this yeah so maybe like a um, quarter cup yeah so it is nice and runny, runny. batter like similar to uh, a crepe okay. so we just put it on this Make it's sure the maybe it's a bit low today. Yeah. Make sure we make it nicely hot. The tawa is hot before you spread it. And as this is getting heated up here, let's do the utapam here. Traditionally so it's done in a tawa, the but today we're using a uh, non stick non -stick frying pan. pan. Yeah. And then um, we are going to make utapam and I like to add veggies on top of it. So I have onions, carrot and coriander cut nicely chopped together. I like to mix it up before I transfer it into the utapam because it's going to take a lot of time to. So I'll mix that. Can you mix you that up for me, please? So it's all finely chopped onion, finely chopped cilantro, and finely grated um, carrots. Hamsha, uh, can you come here close to mm -hmm. me so that they can see this? And now I'm pouring the utapam. The griddle is also nice and hot. You want to make sure it's nice and hot before you start pouring the pancakes into it. It looks like little flapjacks too or crumpets. Yep. British will call crumpets. So now so. we have the three things put together so that we can just top it off with a tablespoon teaspoon of all the ingredients together if you like spice there's something called idli podi or a powder if it's yeah <laughs> it's made from urad dal and chilies and a little bit of tuar dal okay we can leave some plain the rest plain like that yeah yeah can you pass me the idli podi we can put one on top and show them how it is the dosa is also getting cooked on the other stove And now I like to add a little like a dot of oil to it on each pancake. So I really the... don't add too much. I just add a yeah. Yeah. It's so a Mara pancake. East so meets west here yeah, with all the different uh, utensils we're using to cook with. And let's see our dosa getting ready here. You're going to give it lift and turn it around to make sure that it's cooking on the other side too. We have traditional dosa tawas from India that really does a very good job. The non-sticks, they're okay, they're not bad, they get the job done I would say. And can you give me a little chili powder? The yeah. So I like to add this chili powder to spice it up. You know, like we we like to have chilies on anything. I guess even in pizza we like the yes. crushed chilies. So it's good to rev up the metabolism. It helps. I mean, there's a lot of exactly for these yeah things. spice really mm -hmm. because I'm using a powder on top. I just like to add little oil to it to kind mm -hmm. of stick to it and now I'm going to and I think the dosa is ready so what temperature did you put that on your I put it in the highest which is 400 oh, okay so the with the pump you've got one more to turn yeah and I guess this is ready for you yeah so we'll make um, one more dosa I guess and then yeah we can uh, make another dosa here then we're all ready for to serve so our lunch yeah the pancakes can be taken out, they are ready too. 
And we're all set to eat, I guess. Yes. <laughs> all looking forward to a really sumptuous South Indian brunch. Or any time food. My kids just love it any time of the day. Ask them what you want. And they say, I want dosa. Or now they move on to Italy, which is even more healthy. Well, both of them are just as healthy. I guess here you may add a little more the oil when you're turning yeah. it around inside. And oil is not bad when it's used in a very little quantity. Yes, yes. I'm going to reduce the flame so that I don't want it to so While you're doing that, I'm just going to finish this up. And the pancakes are ready too. Yeah. And now I'm going to take it off. And they're ready now. We have a really sumptuous breakfast brunch out here. Starting off with our batter, this is from Sri Foods, which is absolutely delicious batter. If your local store doesn't have it, you're more than welcome to ask for them to get it. And it is uh, the it goes to a good cause for the sale of this uh, batter. And um, we made with this batter, we made a dosa, uh, idli, Idlis. idli with. Uh, Carrot, carrots in it. And then we did uttapam. There's three things made with this one batter. And then yeah. after that, we made a little bit of a, what we call an Indian stew or sambar, which is with drumsticks or what is it the word you use for the drumsticks? Drums, murungakai. Okay. It's in Tamil, it's called murungakai. And with that, we used, uh, 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 we I'm made a peanut chutney, chutney. today, but uh, Shilakshmi from home brought a pepper chutney and a uh, powder, which she made at home as well. Next time, we'll have all of that. Yeah. So now you want to show us how to eat this? Sure. So I just, with the red chili powder, I've just added some oil to mix it up. And uh, yeah. So you basically dip the idlis into the sambar. And you take a piece of it. You can dip it any of the sides you like. And this, I would like to go with the sambar first. And that must be really, really delicious. And it's very healthy for you. Yep. It's very good for your health. You can, as you can see, we hardly use any oil or anything. It's got its protein and everything. And see how it. soft and fluffy yes. it is. Like, yeah, and uh, whenever you get time, you can steam your idlis and freeze it and microwave and it's ready to go. Thank you so much, Sri Lakshmi. It was oh my such God. a pleasure <laughs> having you. I know it's like really, oh my God, it's like so beautiful. And it has yeah. to be so healthy and so good for your health. So thank you. And those who want to go gluten-free, absolutely try everything is gluten-free here today. And we have our peanuts and our lentils as our protein and everything else. So from, with that, from... And for a variation, I uh, put it like a cap. And so kids love to see the dosa in the cap form or a hat form. So have fun. Make Thank it. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank and you. With that, from a flavorful eat. See you next time. I'm your host, Hamsha Naidu. Bye. <laughs>